Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey there, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. With me is Steve. We're talking Final Cut Pro 10, but also... Compressor. Compressor. Okay. Because right. a lot of times you don't need compressor, right? Well, right. We've done several episodes where we just... Uh, use the share menu and export it right from Final Cut Pro. Which has got more and more powerful, right? There's right. Been more and more uh, functionality built right into Final Cut Pro in terms of choosing presets and how you export your, your projects. Right. In fact, remember a couple ex episodes back, we went into uh, uh, preferences and I showed you destinations, how you can create what are called bundles. Right? Yes. Hey, look, there's yes. a bundle that we created last time. So you can actually export multiple delivery targets to your audience. In one shot. In one shot. Mm -hmm. The one one downside to this is you can essentially send one project at a time, vis-a-vis -vis the export. It'll uh, do share one. Menu. It'll do the next. You don't you don't have to queue them up each up. It'll you queue them all up and it does one after another. But right. It does them in series. Right. But uh -huh. really, the this whole episode that we're doing right now was born out of people asking, well, what do I even need compressor at all for? Mm -hmm. And I found that I still use it for lots of different things, um, most, okay. mo most particularly what you're going to see here, which is I want to be able to set up a batch to, to walk away and have it just chug out all these different projects in one fell swoop. Oh, so multiple projects. projects. So rather than the same project to multiple deliveries, you want to actually have multiple projects all be set up to go. That's right. Multiple I got projects. It. Okay. So like right I now, I'd be, I could export, I, I can go ahead and choose uh, share. Uh, using my bundle, yep. right? Yeah. And then, and then, okay, they got that. And then I got to go over here and then select another one, and then share and that. that it's one. Just, you just a lot the next of time. One. Okay. And you, and it, it would queue those all up, but you have to pick each one separately. Right. So I'm going to look okay. at a, a just slightly different way of doing this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, notice I'm at the project library itself. Yes. I mean, I'm not in the not project in a, in a timeline. So yes. I'm going to go up to the edit menu, and I'm just going to choose send to compressor. Oh, file menu. Or oh, excuse me, file menu. <laughs> Uh, send a compressor, and I'll okay. immediately get this um, batch window essentially, uh -huh. and it's telling me what I exported it from, what uh, what project I exported. It's the name of the project. Name okay. Of the project. Now I want to do another one, so I'm going to go back to Final Cut Pro, and uh, here I am, and here's a little video of your sister's restaurant, uh -huh. and uh, so I'm going to select that, and same thing, file, send a compressor. Send a compressor. Okay. All right. Now. It's interesting here. Um, let's just do one more. Okay, so let's uh, just to get to the workflow. Here's um, let's see here. Uh, here's a uh, some green screen thing that my door. I'm going to do this. Okay. So I'm going to select that and uh -huh. I'm going to do file, send to compressor. Okay. So you send. So you see so you have three separate projects. Three separate projects. And you they can each pair separate tabs. Separate tabs, exactly. Uh -huh. So separate batches. So this is where this is just a simple trick, but I use this all the time. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Laconda. I'm going to select it. And um, you select what's called the job. Yeah, by That's clicking on the whole thing turns blue. That, right. So okay. I'm just hit Command X. Okay. So you cut it. Cut it. And okay. then go back here and make sure nothing's selected. Yeah. Command, Command v. v. Right. And essentially what you're going to do is paste that job there. Oh, paste that. So you took it off that job and applied it to this job. Yes. Okay. So now that one's empty. So this is that Rachel run. So you select, and again, you're selecting the job and the whole tile will turn blue. Okay. And then Command, Command X. X. Here, make sure nothing's selected. That's yeah. a key. If Command something a. were selected, it would paste it. Yeah, it wouldn't allow you. It wouldn't allow you to paste it. Oh, wouldn't it wouldn't allow you to do so it at all. Okay. So, so there's my um, my jobs. Okay, so mm -hmm. you got three jobs on one or three projects in one job. Is that the right way right. to say? Right. I got okay. Well, actually, yeah. This is the batch. This is a batch. Mm -hmm. These are called jobs. Oh, each of those are jobs in the batch. In the batch, right? Okay. So I'm gonna actually don't want to bring this preview. What I want to do is I want to bring up the settings window where you can apply the presets. Okay. And so you have your your presets here. Yep. And I'm gonna select all of these. And click inside the preset uh, the batch window. Command A. Command A. All of them. Right. Okay. So let's just say for example, let's let's type in here YouTube. Okay. So these are all the the YouTube presets. Okay. Yes. So so what's nice is I could take this preset. Okay. And with all three jobs selected, yeah. I just drag them on here, and it will boom apply it those. Applies all of them. Okay. Applies them all at once, and I'll okay. select them, and let's let's go ahead. So the key here is you went Command A again to select all the jobs, and not that individual right. preset. Right. Okay. H dot two. Let's type in web. Okay, web. So okay. I just typed in web. Yep. This is nice. So I can see all my web presets. So okay. I'm gonna go in here. And maybe I want a uh, 48, 480p for whatever reason. 
See, because they're all selected, it's now going to apply. Like all of them. Okay. By the way, these are called targets. Okay? okay. So, and a target has to include three things: it has to include the preset. Yes. It has to include a destination and the name. And okay. The name in this of, case. Okay. So, so what we haven't done yet is include a destination. Right now, it says source, which means it's going to attempt to always encode the video where the original project or video uh, movie is. Is okay. right. So, so what uh, does that what does that mean here? Where the source would be? Is that in the project? Uh, in the project folder, Final Cut Projects folder? You know what? I, I've, <laughs> that's a good question. Well, you never do it, right? I you never do it. Yeah, it I always I, I select them all here, yeah. and then under Target, and go to Destination, and I just choose Other. And I will typically pick a, a folder okay. to, to, to set okay. all this to. So, so you um, can do them all at once this way, because I've never I've always done them each separately, but you can do them all oh, at once. Oh, absolutely. So I'm going to, um, let's see, do you have a documents folder? Oh, yeah, documents. Let's, let's go into the movies folder. And I'm okay. just going to create, I'm going to just create uh, Steve's batch, no, Steve batch output. And I'll just, I okay. the So folder. now uh, you're going to have assign them. And you sign it all at once. All nice. at once. Nice. Okay. And then I can go ahead and click submit, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay. All right. And then here's something that's just so darn cool. Um, you have this thing called a share monitor. Yeah. And this is what I use to a monitor little app. a little uh -huh. separate app that'll actually show you what's going on with your encoding targets okay. see, in your project. So. This is what's really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit compressor, and I'm, I'm not interested in uh, saving any of that. Uh -huh. and you can actually quit Final Cut Pro, and um, it's the reason is is because once it's submitted, it's just a script that's being run in the background. Oh, so you don't need you don't need a compressor to be running anymore. Or Final once you've Cut. That, or Final Cut. Or Final Cut. So you've quit them both, and this is going because you can see it in the share. That's right. Wow. Which tells you I can either quit it, and I can relaunch Final Cut, and I can continue working, continue editing. It doesn't. You know, it doesn't actually inhibit my ability okay. to continue. And you can actually something. edit the very projects you sent over. The very projects I sent over. Because it remembers the state they were in when you originally it's did it. It's sending that state of that uh. database over to uh, Visa VXML um, over to Compressor. So I have everything there. And I'm just. So you can just, just go back in yeah. and keep working while this thing is working in the background. Although it's going to be, it's doing some serious work in the background. Yeah. Exactly, and uh, for those of you who wonder how to speed up compressor, we've done episodes on you know how to actually set up a it's called a, a quick virtual cluster. Um, big, quick cluster or virtual cluster. Um, you might want to check those out on our, uh, our website. But basically, I'm back in Final Cut Pro here, and I can just you know, just keep right on working. And uh, the batch monitor, if you look over here, there's a batch monitor icon right here. Yeah, it actually show you uh, how many projects. You know, it shows you that one job is okay uh, in batch process. Is, is in process yeah. right there. That number will will flag you right in the dock. Okay. So, okay. And you can always check it out to see where it is. That's right. So this is I, I use this workflow all the time. I uh, I have all these presets and compressor, and I just send a bunch of projects over there. And well, it's great. You have a bunch of projects going. You can have as many projects as you want, and each of them can go out to multiple destinations and set them up and have that thing run. Yep. That's terrific. There it is. And so that's so, a, that's a real good reason to use compressor. I agree. Nice. If you're I agree. Doing that kind of we have a compressor kind of tutorial, and we cover a lot of this on our compressor tutorial on okay. RippleTraining.com. RippleTraining.com. Cool. Thank you, Steve. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.